doing on YouTube? This is Matt Man Limited, and I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to use GarageBand. As you can see here, I got here um, loaded up is a, uh, a backing track from Livin' Lovin', She's Just a Woman. It's a Led Zeppelin song, and it's one of my favorite solos to play. It's very easy, so if you're a beginner guitar player, you can learn this quite easily. Uh, the uh, phrasing is a little weird at the end, but uh, you can easily manage that. Um, but uh, it's just one of my favorite songs to play. It sounds pretty cool in my opinion. So I'll just firstly, first of all, play um, what was um, what I recorded earlier, and um, now I'm going to, uh, and then I'll show you how I'm going to record it once again uh, using my new microphone, the Shure uh, SM57, and I got my amp mic behind me over there. So first of all, let's play it through. All right, so that was uh, recorded pretty quickly before this. Uh, before I made this video, it was only one take, and you can see here what I like to do is I like to split split the backing track right above the uh, point where I want to record and then I'll start a couple seconds earlier and once I'm uh, cutting out the parts I don't want then I'll cut out this beginning part of the solo and also the end but I'll show you that later on I like to mark it that way and then as you're adding new tracks you put them on different layers and a uh, cool thing what you can do is uh, I got this as a backing track but if you have all the tracks separate like um, your drum set, your bass guitar and stuff like that you can mess around with the position left and right. Uh, basically, uh, this the instrument that you want to hear right in the center is like uh, like obviously your guitar or your or the vocals, something like that. Something you want to um, kind of accent. It'll stand out more if it's right in the middle. But because I got the backing track already mixed together, um, I can't do that. So um, we'll just leave that alone for now. Uh, first of all, you want to set up your mic and set up the gain both on your preamp and on here. I like to keep this somewhere around there so I can lift, uh, raise the decibels a little bit. Not much, I usually don't like to raise them that much, but uh, it gives me a little more room to lower them down. Because wherever you start it when you record it is actually the, uh, the equilibrium, the, the zero point, when you don't mess around with it at all. And first of all, what you want to do is with your preamp, as you can see when I play something like that, uh, you have, um, sorry, you can't see what I'm pointing with my finger, you have these little bars coming up. Now what you want to do is you want to get some harsh noises like that, like that and it's really ugly sounding, but you want to make sure that you don't overdo it. Uh, my preamp is out of my reach right now, but what I did before was I turned it down to the point where just where the harshest noise uh, that uh, was like way way above what I was planning on playing uh, would just barely get into the yellows or the reds. Uh, what this will do is give you a more clear sound, and this is more about like sound engineering than it is about garage band. So I'll move on. Uh, first of all, when you want to create a new track, you just go up here and uh, select new track. And what I'll do, put down a new one. You have a choice between software track, uh, instrument track, or real instrument track. So what we're going to do is real instrument track. If you want to use a software instrument, that's all right. There's tons of uh, loops that Apple has preset, and you can add them in. Um, I don't like to play with those too much. It's I might do it for drums a little bit, but I, I find it a lot easier just to record a real instrument. And I play tons of instruments anyway, so I can record them all individually. So select, select real track. And to move the layers around, you just click the uh, picture right there. And as you notice right here, it starts off with no effects. Uh, so if you want to change that, say uh, we're going to delete this one right here. So I'm going to uh, press Command and delete. That's how you delete a entire track. Um, so first of all, I'll set this one up how I had the other one. Now you can record it with no effects. That's all right. But I found when I recorded this solo, it sounded best when I select the, uh, the effect right away. So first of all, I select the guitars and I had Arena Rock. So I'll select that right now. And then you want to go ahead and record it. So I'll set the, um, the tracker just before 
that mark I had, that's this point right here is right when the solo starts, so I'll set it a little bit before so it gives me some time to get ready. <coughs> and what I'm gonna have is I I'm using my uh, my MacBook Pro, the the internal speaker, so you'll be able to hear what's actually playing live out of my amplifier. And I'm also what well, because I'm using my Shure microphone to mic the amp into the computer. So when I'm actually playing it to record it, uh, you won't hear it, uh, uh, and the screen fellow doesn't record that. So I'm using first the lower quality mic so you can hear me playing it live, and then I'll play it back to you how it sounded recorded with the Shure microphone. So I'll tilt down my camera. I can't see. That looks like it should be lined up with my guitar. So uh, let's give it a try. So you go down right here and you select the record button. Make sure your track is on top. I, it doesn't really matter, but I like to put it on top. And make sure that this is under re the uh, record button is enabled. So click record and then, uh, and then we'll play. So here we go. And then I just press the space bar to stop it quickly. That's just the shortcut that I like to use. There are others you can actually click the button. I don't know. So let's hear that back. So I may have taken another take if I was actually trying to record a song, but uh, just for this tutorial, I'll leave it as it is. And I'll show you some how you can change the effects of the uh, sound after you've recorded it quite easily. Uh, you can do it both while it's playing and also uh, before you play the song. So uh, I'll just select a couple of these as I play this a couple of times over, and you can hear the different sounds. So select something scorching solo see how that sounds it may be a little intense with the overdrive but let's hear it anyways uh, acoustic guitar echo this should sound kind of neat so yeah one kind of uh, eliminated the sound because of the waves they actually canceled each other out that happens occasionally um, uh, let's go to Ultra Clean. This may sound a little strange because of the way I recorded it, but let's hear it anyway. Okay, so if you notice what I did there is I upped the decibels a little bit. I upped it by 6. Uh, that's usually the most I'll ever uh, increase it, but basically because of the effect that I added there, I kind of needed to. So basically if I want a clean sound like that, I usually try to record it clean, like uh, I don't put in the, uh, I recorded it with the, uh, what was it, Arena Rock, so it would be quite difficult to get a real clean sound out of it if you recorded it using that effect. Uh, so if you want the most, um, versatility of your, of your music. You want to record it with no effects at first, but uh, if you already know what kind of sound you want, uh, definitely pick the one that you're planning on using later because it, it will record in that uh, with that effect a lot better. Okay, so yeah, that's been a really quick tutorial on how to record a uh, pretty decent quality uh, song using GarageBand. There are a lot of other features for you, especially if you don't play any instrument. There are the uh, auditions where you can uh, put that, put together some instruments, uh, just select them from a group of instruments that Apple allows you to pick, 
and you can use some Apple's uh, preset loops as well. Or you can actually create backing tracks that you can play over top of using that. I was originally planning on showing you guys this. I may do so in a later video, but I ran out of time, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Pretty cool in my opinion. So I'll just first of all, first of all play um, what was um, what I have recorded earlier, and um, now I'm going to, uh, and then I'll show you how I'm going to record it once again uh, using my new microphone, the Shure uh, SM57, and I got my amp mic behind me over there. So first of all, let's play it through. YouTube, this is Matt Ryan Limited, and I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to use GarageBand. As you can see here, I got here um, loaded up is a, uh, a backing track. So that was uh, recorded pretty quickly before this, uh, before I made this video. It was only one take, and you can see here what I like to do is I like to split split the backing track right above the uh, point where I want to record, and then I'll start a couple seconds earlier. And once I'm uh, cutting out the parts I don't want, then I'll cut out this beginning part of the solo and also the end. But I'll back from Livin' Lovin', She's Just a Woman. It's a Led Zeppelin song and it's one of my favorite solos to play. It's very easy so if you're a beginner guitar player you can learn this quite easily. Uh, the uh, phrasing is a little weird at the end but uh, you can easily manage that. Um, but uh, it's just one of my favorite songs to play. It sounds